Uh, from the time you started as a DC, like 15 years ago through now, is there a difference in dealing with 22 to four year olds now, uh, between now and then? Um, I've always said that, you know, when you're dealing with NFL players, you, you know, if you're a good person, you're going to have a good relationship, but really what they're asking for, I think the difference is, can you get them better? You know, that's where the respect comes. And I think that part hasn't changed. If you can help a player get better, you'll gain their respect. And it's good. If you can't help them get better, they may like you, but they may not respect you because of that process. So um, I, I don't think that part has changed much. I think there's more um, distractions probably, you know, than there were 20 years ago with social media and things like that. Your conversations may have changed or may change what they got going on in their life and what they're dealing with. But I still think on the field, it's all about if you can help them get better or not. Thanks. Yep. Chap. Afternoon, Gus. Hi, Chap. Uh, with the deep dive you've already started on the Vikings, what separates Justin Jefferson from, gosh, almost every other receiver? Um, tremendous uh, ball skills. Um, really, really good route runner. Um uh, they they have an intent. I mean, you'll see him on tape getting doubled, and they'll still try to get him the ball because they have that much faith in him. So, and he can change the outcome of the game uh, very quickly. So, uh, you know, I, I would say just his overall skill set, speed, route running, uh, ball skills, like I mentioned, um, he, he's just a tremendous player. Tremendous player. The more and more we're watching him, I could see why he's you know got all the accolades. I know you don't get into it, but is he the best receiver in the league? Boy, I guess. I mean, he, he's got a he's got a rank up there. I mean, there there's. I mean, the receivers got different skill set. We saw one the other week that was really talented. Um, you know, they all are kind of got their own skill set and what they do well. But as a complete wide receiver, you know, as a complete wide receiver, he has to be up there. Thanks, guys. James. Gus, what stands out to you about Sam Darnold? Obviously, he's going through probably a career year this year with Minnesota and, and things he's able to, been able to do. I, I think he processes things really well. I think that uh, they, they have done a good job with him as far as, you know, the route concepts and things like that. He's always been talented, but I think he's in a good groove right now. He is more athletic than you think. He can run. He can extend plays. But I think that, uh, you know, he's a very – process person, you know, and I think in that system, you know, um, with his reads and things like that. So he just does a good job executing it. He's playing with a lot of poise right now and with a lot of confidence. And then one quick follow-up with uh, your linebacker group this, this year, how would you assess their play so far and maybe areas that you've liked and areas you want to see them continue to grow in? Well, I mean, you start off with Z, right? He's our leader and uh, got the green dot and really – calls everything on our defense. So that, that part has been great. As a player, I mean, we put him, like I said, a couple of weeks ago in the middle of three. You know, so there's times when, you know, he, he messes it up and, you know, the other guys clean it up. So I think he's, he's done really good for us. EJ, you know, has got the speed factor, you know, where he can operate in space. Um, so I, I think they're all going good. We've, we've had some challenges, right? With JC, we really liked how he was coming on. He got hurt. Grant stepped in. Shagu has played. So I think those guys have, have done a nice job being ready when their number's called. And, uh, you know, there's there's been games, multiple games, where they've had double-digit tackles and things like that. So overall, pretty pleased with how they're playing and what they bring to the defense. Joel? In terms of the linebackers, it, you guys had so much production for the defensive tackles. Do you feel like teams are getting their guards through to the linebackers, and how do you feel like they're getting off blocks so far this year? Um, it, it's always whenever you're playing linebacker, and especially, uh, Joel, if you have a light box. You know, if you have a light box, I mean, there, it's a big challenge on them. But we have a tendency, you try to stress your best players, right? I mean, that's the overall principle. And uh, we feel like our D-line's playing pretty well, so there, there's a lot of stress on them. And the same thing with the linebackers. So – you know, I, you're always asking for better, but I think they're doing a pretty good job. You know, I think versus the run game, uh, the last couple of weeks with the light box, you know, it's it's been enough to where we can keep the points down. And uh, we played better against the run than the first time we did against Houston. So 
you know, but you, I, you know, there's a lot of strain on those guys because you strain your best players. And then we'll do our last question from Nate. Hey guys, I know we're asking a lot about the linebackers, but I'm just uh, curious kind of what, are there certain ways or, or things you're looking for to maybe get them make a few more splash plays, whether it's, uh, you know, getting the quarterback or, or, you know, hands on footballs or force fumbles, or, you know, we've seen it from EJ in the past. So how do you kind of maybe get some of that going? Well, I mean, you know, uh, Grant has had an impact on the game. Z caused the fumble in Miami, you know? Um, so I, I think, you know, overall, um, you know, that they're, they're doing a good job. Um, like I said, we're straining them. So I guess when we watch film and we evaluate them, what they're doing, you, I think we guys, we just got to be careful to keep them fresh. You know, we're a couple of injuries away from getting pretty thin right there. So, you know, and, and I think that with the number of reps that they've been playing, it's important to keep them fresh, you know, so as the season goes on, we don't see it become a tired group and um, they're not right now, but I think we have to have enough you know, where we look ahead to make sure that doesn't happen so they can still play, you know, with fresh legs. And, you know, at this point in the season, no one's, you know, got completely fresh legs, but I think their health is very important to us.